one dead and three injured in a deadly shooting at YouTube. Tremendously sad story today coming out of San Bruno, California at YouTube headquarters. Now this is not one of their studios where creators can come in and make videos. This is actually one of their office buildings where YouTube employees work on a daily basis. A female shooter killed one and injured three others in a deadly rampage. Here's how it all played out. On Tuesday, April 3rd at 12.45, San Bruno police get multiple reports of shots fired at YouTube headquarters. By 12.48, the police had already arrived to find numerous YouTube employees fleeing the building. Immediately upon entering, the police find one victim with a gunshot wound. Police continue to search the building before finding a second victim, a female, dead with what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's believed that she was the shooter. The San Bruno police report. While conducting a search of the premises, uh, officers located a second uh, individual with a gunshot wound that appears to uh, may have been self-inflicted. We are still working on confirming that. It looks like the victims will survive, though at the present time, their conditions are ranging from critical to serious and fair. One victim fled the scene across the street to a local Carl's Jr. where a young employee was able to offer some assistance. Okay, so I came out the bathroom and she was already in the dining room and people were taking care of her and I was trying to find some, some tools to help her and I found a bungee cord and I tied that around her leg to stop the blood flow. She was shot in the leg. Do you know which leg? I think it was the left leg. High, low, like uh, the below the part of the leg near the calf area. Okay. Yeah. Uh, was she in? Was she crying? Was she screaming? She was relaxed. She was not crying. No screaming. She was just, uh, you know, she was scared. You know, of course, but not in shock. Now, I've got some thoughts on this that are absolutely going to piss you off. While this is a deeply sad experience, and our hearts ache for the victims. We know that this will obviously stoke the flames of the gun control debate that has been raging in this country since the Parkland, Florida shooting incident. With that being said, San Bruno, California, located in the northern part of the state in Silicon Valley, already has the strictest gun laws on the books. So why aren't they working? I mean, think about this. YouTube is actively banning and demonetizing law-abiding gun safety channels like The Daily Shooter, Jarhead6, and Hank Strange. And while YouTube is punishing law-abiding citizens, its own employees are actively carrying out gun crimes. That seems a little crazy. Secondly, we have to ask ourselves, how safe is YouTube? I mean, the shooter was able to get deep inside the building without setting off any kind of alarms. So obviously she was an employee or another familiar face at YouTube. So why was there no on-site security at one of the world's largest employers? Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section, so I hope you'll tell us how you feel. And if you found this video helpful, why not share it on Twitter or with your social networks? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for news, tips, and strategy on Facebook, YouTube, and video marketing. I'm Owen Video. We'll see you next time.